Hey guys, welcome back to another video, Dusty here. So in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to manage permissions or roles within your Discord channel. So you can apply or assign roles to different people in your Discord channel to give them different permissions like being able to post links or images or GIFs or whatever it may be. Like for my Discord channel, uh, I have moderators and then I just have everyone else, right? So I kind of keep it somewhat simplistic. But if you want to, you can get as crazy as you want. So the first thing you want to do is open up your Discord, then open up your uh, channel. And again, you've obviously have to have permissions or you've had, you know, you, you need to have created the Discord in order to do any of this, right? So the first thing you need to do is click the down arrow in the upper left hand corner here to the right of your Discord channel name. Then what you're going to want to do is go down to server settings. And then under server settings, you're going to see something here that says roles right here under audit log. So go ahead and click that now. As you can see here, I have a couple, you know, a few different roles. I have one for Patreon. I have one for moderator. I have a new role, which I created created just to show you guys some examples of some stuff. Uh, and then I have everyone else, which is kind of one that's natively created by Discord. Now, if you want to create a new role, all you need to do is click the addition symbol right here, click that addition symbol, and then the new role will be created. Then you just give that new role a name. So you can just say soldier, or whatever you want to name the new role within your Discord. Then you can go here and give it a role color. So if I give that role uh, color uh, pink there, as you can see, Everyone who I assign this role in my Discord is now going to show up their name as that color. So it's pretty cool. It gives people like a, a different way to stand out within your Discord if that's something that you're interested in. Now, under role settings, this is where the permissions and the nitty gritty details come into play. Now, display role members separately from online members. So again, if these people, even if they're offline, online, whatever, if you want to display these people in a different section for people to see, even when they're online or offline, you can check that there. Uh, allow anyone to mention this role. Now, if it's a bot or it's a moderator, maybe you don't want people to mention, or maybe you do want people to mention them, and you can click that check there. Uh, general permissions administrator. Now, this is going to give them permissions to bypass specific things, going to give them uh, basically permissions that you have. So if you want someone that you really trust to be an administrator, you can click this if that's the role that you want to give them. Uh, you can give them the, the permissions to manage the server, to view the audit log, to actually manage and change roles, which is what you're doing now, to kick members, to ban members, to create instant invites. So think of it this way. If you want to put out an army of people to spread the word for your Discord, you could give them access to only this one here, to either kick, ban, and create instant invites, right? That's kind of what you want them to do. And you can scroll down here and see the different types of things, like allow them to embed links, allow them to do all this good stuff. And then, you know, obviously down below voice permissions, you can see what else they can do there as well. Now, once you've created your roles here, if you want to, what you can do is you can actually delete a role by clicking the red button at the bottom. Or if you want to, you know, complete the changes and create that specific permission or the specific roles, then you click save changes at the bottom there. So under new role here, since this is just one that I just created, I want to delete new role. And then it'll say, are you sure you want to do that? And then click the OK button. And then that actual permission uh, setting will be removed. Now, click the escape button or the X key here. Now, if I go go up here and let's say I go right here and I give this person right here, I want to give them a new role. So what I'll do is over in the right hand side, you know, you can do either online or offline people here. Uh, what we can do is we can go here and right click on an individual. And then once we do that, go down to where you're going to see something uh, that says roles at the very bottom. Now, all of the roles that you've created will come up here. So as you can see here, I have a green moderator. And then uh, over here, I have the pink soldier, which is the one that I just created. Now, as people are typing within your uh, Discord channel, as I scroll up and down here, you're able to see that like this person here, which is green, this is a moderator in the channel, which has, you know, they have basically every permission except for administrative stuff that I can do, like change and remove people and things like that. So if you want to give someone else a role or change their role, all you need to do is right click on their username in the right hand column here where you see the list of usernames and then go here to where you see roles. And then right here, either select soldier or select moderator. So I'm going to go ahead and select soldier. And now as you can see, when Matt types in the channel, his name is going to come up as pink. That way I know that he's a soldier of the Discord channel. The same thing works for a moderator. So if I want to remove that him from the actual role, go down to exactly where we were at and uncheck that. Now people can be a part of two different roles. And the one that's going to be 
you know, the one that's going to reign high is going to be the one that has the highest permissions. So in this case, it would be moderator. But again, I'm not sure why you would want to do that. Maybe just to let people know how much you care about them and that they uh, hold all of these different places in your heart. So you can at any time go in and change the colors if that's something that you want to do. Maybe one month you do one color and then another month you do another color. Again, that's really up to you as to what you want to do. Now, again, if I, you know, segmented these over here by roles. So if I went up here and went back to server settings again and then went to the the role here that I created if I want to basically allow them to be displayed separately I'll click that there and then hit save changes and then now as you can see if I apply this role to Matt here like I normally would you can see here those people who have those specific roles will always be at the top so normally what you would want to do here is you would want to have your moderators all of them be at the top so we're going to go ahead and remove that role now and actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to change all of my moderators to be able to be seen at the top, even uh, in, in kind of a segmented portion there. So we're going to go ahead and go to roles, go to go to moderator here, and then what you're going to want to do is display them separately, save the changes, hit the escape key, and now as you can see, any uh, any moderator who's online will automatically be at the top here, kind of distant from the other people in the channel. To let people know who is what different role within the Discord channel. Now, you can obviously go as deep or as shallow as you want in this specific um, thing within Discord. I have a full Discord tutorial if you want to know and basically read up and learn up more about how to use Discord, how to create a channel. It is a fantastic, phenomenal tool for podcasters, creators, uh, people who play video games. Whatever your specific need or instance is, Discord normally has a specific thing that can help you uh, either bring you together with like-minded people or allow you to kind of create a community around something that you're doing. Now, if you have any questions, however, about Discord, put those in the comments section below. I'm always, uh, either me or someone in uh, my community can help you uh, get to or maybe answer any questions that you may have. Without any further ado, I'm going to end this video. Thank you guys so much. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video with your friends and or family. And I will talk to you guys in the next one.